management of professionalism uh basically the managing the professional is managing a professionalism is not an easy task because it covers many aspects and one has to follow all those uh, principles and theories and uh, bylaws and everything and so as to maintain so as to follow certain skills and certain techniques as a manager uh, and for the effective management uh, uh, we for, for, it is for the effective management and for perfectly monitoring and handling and managing the empl ma managing the um, the employees managing the profession itself managing the systems whatever the things we are working with as a as a manager or as a professional manager that then we have to take care of uh, things in a professional way uh, professional managers uh, Mm, have to mm, cover different aspects and have to meet the deadlines and uh, for the sake of the continuous support and the motivation uh, of their subordinates for the achievement of organizational goals for example if i'm manager i'm professional manager i have to motivate i have to keep the high moral of my of my uh, subordinates of my juniors to 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 make their spirits high through 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 different techniques and different processes so that their the morale is high their motivation is high in this way uh, as a, ma a manager can achieve the targets of uh, the organization the vision and mission of the organization for this sake the self awareness is also important for the managers and um, and that the self awareness helps him to assess the needs assess the problems of an organization definitely there are uh, essential factors for the professional managers and these are to be taken care of by the professional managers uh, professional managers means here i again want to explain this concept uh, any any managerial setup which falls into the domain of a profession for for example if it's a general administration that the things are very closely similar but if there is the it's it's not a professional management it's not a general management it is a professional management system or the the, the, the one has to manage the manage the things in a professional organization for example in 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 Uh, in in education in engineering in uh, medical uh, for example if you are manager of the medical college dental college if you are manager of uh, law college so these are the profession and in these type of the uh, organizations and setups uh, the things are a bit different from the general administrations for example uh, the factors that are essential for a professional managers are specialized in technical knowledge i can't be a good manager of an organization which deals with any profession until or unless i have very sound knowledge of that profession for example if i am manager in college or in school i am administrator of the college or school or the university or department or the faculty i should know what is educational management what is the educational organization how to administer the things in an educational setup what is the challenges of that profession as a professional maintaining standards through self governing organizations because in a professions there are certain rules of regulating uh, itself by the profession But there are organizational rules there are professional rules of managing the things let me give an example for example uh, if it is a department teacher training department or the teacher training college uh, the principal of the college has own rules to follow to implement to administer on the other hand the teachers have to follow certain rules of the accreditation council of that profession uh, it is it, it could be either a um, medical field or engineering field or whatever the field of the profession is and the continuous study there's a need of uh, 
the continuous study for the managers as well as the professional practitioners and one has to take care of the public interest because the professionals work for the society and the direct benefit direct benefit and the impact on the society and let us talk about specialized and technical knowledge every uh, since every organize every profession has uh, different type of uh, the challenges different types of the expectations and uh, skills and the competencies are required therefore the professional manager needs to have specialized knowledge of that profession and he or she should maintain the standards through self governing organizations uh, self governing means one has, there are certain rules of the individual rules of the accreditation councils rules of uh, the organizations rules of uh, to be followed within this organization as a general principle and the continuous study the professional has to uh, maintain the continuous study because with the passage of time new knowledge latest knowledge is which are not only adding something into the previous knowledge but they are making the previous knowledge and the concept and the skills redundant in one or other way therefore it is essential for a professional to maintain uh, to 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 update to enhance the personal study uh, to make continuous study public interest one has to take care of the public interest and one has to ensure as a professional manager ensure public welfare and the interest uh, yes this our organizations our individuals are really serving the public interest and they are uh, increasing productivity level or not is there any positive impact and it is really significant in impact and the uh, and really they are playing active role in the development of the society or they are contributing uh, uh, for betterment of uh, community behavior uh, functions of the professional managers uh, since the professional manager has not only maintained and follow the rules and the regulations of uh, that uh, set up our institutions either college or school but as i mentioned earlier the follow and implement the rules and regulations of uh, that uh, that professions and he has to uh, to face the many challenges he has not only to uh, get his or her work done but he has to take care and to how in what way he, he or she can increase the productivity of the employees how to have a better impact on the society how to have a good uh, results of uh, the organizations that therefore one has to have a familiarity with the different um, principles rules and tech, uh, technologies and techniques etc and there are multiple um, functions in a way organizing and uh, allocating resources this is the list of the resources these are the things to be organized and he should know knows the the team members not only person not only the team members uh, uh, professional level his personality his behavior his psychology and he should be good communicator what he wants to he or she wants to say really that is being communicated and really that is being understood in a true spirit and 100% in the same way that has been communicated planning and selecting priorities one should be uh, um, given less priority with the, um, this moment and the next time it could be high priority and the self awareness what are the self awareness means critical thinkers you should know what is the th what is the impact and it is the diagnostic assessment of the things motivating team members organizing and alloc allocating resources uh, you have long list of the resources you have to organize with the, with the priorities and you have to take care of for the effective and cost effective uh, utilization and uses of available resources financial resources uh, human resources etc and you have to know you are as mentioned earlier your team um, very deeply their issues their problems their their priorities their challenges 
uh, their uh, social and uh, their professional issues, uh, professional uh, problems. One should be the good communicator, as we discussed already. Planning and uh, uh, selecting priorities. The manager has to know how to plan the things, when to planning the things, and when to give the priorities to this things and that thing. That is based on principle. That is smarter, A specific, measurable, acceptable, realistic, time frame, extending, and rewarding. This is the principles of how to plan the things and how to select the priorities. Self awareness. He should know uh, critically. What are the liking and disliking in the attitudes and skills of uh, 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 managing the emotions, etc. Motivating the team members, he has to recognize the efforts of the employees. He has to appreciate the things. He have he has to he or she as a manager has to make the accountability and appreciation of the things and. Uh, Monit not only monitor but mentor and guide for the uh, for the improvement like trainings and career counseling and there are certain issues there um, uh, as professional ma managers always face they, 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 that issues are needed to be they, they are essential to be handled by the managers and those are public trust he has to maintain uh, the public trust that the people should the community should trust and there is a misconception that one is the professional, he is an elite type of the person. For example, he is a medical doctor, he is an engineer, and he is a highly professional man, therefore he is the uh, man of the elite level. So he, this is misconception. He has to make realize that he, the professional is part and parcel of uh, the system. And he has to take care of the public expectations. What are the expectations of the public? How his people, how his personnel are 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 meeting those uh, nature and the, those expectations and there is always increasing complexity complexity of specializations this is specializations how the peoples look at it accountable to multiple constituents there are different stakeholders of uh, a professional of, of a professions for example accrediting but accreditation bodies the high top level management and the the the, the the society, the community. So he has to take care of uh, that the one is really accountable to these different uh, constituents. And public interest, we have already discussed, one has to take care of the public interest. The, this is the interest of the public. We have to maintain the uh, public uh, interest. And uh, there is no elitist uh, concept uh, in a profession. And the professional becomes the part and parcel of the society, and uh, the professional have no monopoly because he has to serve the community, has to contribute the society. He is not uh, taking care of one's personal uh, uh, needs or the priorities and the personal benefits. A public expectation. There is a long list of the public expectations. The professional has to meet those expectations. Mm, and uh, with the new knowledge uh, with the new uh, explorations mm, the level of the specializations uh, varies there not only varies but it is increased it is it becomes complex uh, it needs to be enhanced therefore this is uh, this is important issues to be taken care of accountable to multiple constituents as we already discussed there are different stakeholders of a professional the one has to be ready to be accountable to everyone. In this uh, discussions, we can conclude that the professional has to perform, has to address different challenges and has to follow the different rules and procedures. And uh, to address those rules and procedures, the professional manager has to enhance his competencies and his skills and to address the issues of not only the organizations, but the juniors working with him for for the for the with the collective wisdoms with the different techniques for the for the general for the achievement of the general and the specific goals of the organization